Hey, thanks for stopping in. So this is going to be part two of the KC2. Last one, we uh, explored all the controls and learned how to operate it. And this next one, we're going to reset it to factory defaults, and we're going to use it to measure the VFO frequency. So let's see. First of all, we got you can't resist tuning around a little bit just to see what's going on. But oh, so so the one thing about the the uh, Sierra is the tuning is pretty quick. You, you sometimes feel like you should should have a fine control. Okay, so there's a. Of course, I've got this turned all the way down to minimum, which is supposed to be 150 hertz. But you can see that works pretty well. So that's the variable bandwidth control crystal filter. And it does seem to work pretty well. Anyway, back on track. So let me turn this off. And we'll turn it back on. And to reset to factory defaults, we turn it back on while holding the display button. That's bottom left. So it's a little bit magic. So let's do that. And so you can see the display is uh, set to all kinds of magic numbers. And now we're supposed to be reading the VFO frequency. And let's see, let me get over to that page. So on the Sierra, when we get to 150 on the dial, the VFO should be at 2.935. And if you notice, there is no uh, two here. It's just the last three digits point something. So we'll turn this up to 150 and it's uh, 2.932 so you can see we're not really at at uh, 150 so if you want to do that i don't know how long we want this video to be um, and whether i have a screwdriver handy or not um, the cool thing about this the sierra and the norcal 40 is that the tuning set capacitor um, uses the plates that you touch are ground so for example if i if i got out the uh, swiss army knife <laughs> and I got in here on the VFO set, I should be able to do that without really affecting the tuning much. So we want this to be 935. And that would be about there. So that should be the top. And then when we get to the bottom, it ought to be 935 minus 150 if we're doing things right. How's your math? I think I have a little bit of work to do um, I was looking at the VFO. I did try spreading out the windings on the toroid. It looks like I'll probably have to take off one turn. But uh, anyway, I'll do another video about setting up this VFO. But at least you got how to reset your KC2 to factory defaults and how to go back up and read and then set your top frequency of 2.935 to the top. And then we'll work on sort of what's the whole spread of the VFO next. And the end result will be when you tune to 150, you'll get 150. And when you tune down to zero, you'll get to 7.00. And we're not quite there yet, but we'll get there. So thanks for watching. See you.